there are multiple forms of concurrent property ownership, two of which are tenancy in common and joint tenancy. In Porter versus Porter, we explore the differences between the two, as well as how a joint tenancy is severed. Husband and wife Dennis Porter and Mary Jane Porter purchased a home in Alabama. The conveyancing deed specified that Mary Jane and Dennis took ownership as joint tenants with a right of survivorship, meaning that upon either spouse's death, that spouse's interest automatically passed to the other spouse. When Dennis and Mary Jane subsequently divorced, the divorce decree gave Mary Jane exclusive possession of the jointly owned property until a change in circumstances warranted modification. Dennis later married Martha Porter. When Dennis died, a dispute arose between Mary Jane and Martha as to the property's ownership. Martha, as the executrix of Dennis's estate, argued that the divorce decree severed the joint tenancy, converting ownership to a tenancy in common between Mary Jane and Dennis. And because a tenancy in common didn't have a right of survivorship, she argued that upon Dennis's death, his interest passed to his estate. On behalf of the estate, she sought an order compelling the sale of the property for division. But Mary Jane argued that the divorce decree didn't sever the joint tenancy, and consequently, when Dennis died, his interest automatically passed to Mary Jane as the surviving joint tenant. The trial court held in Martha's favor, and Mary Jane appealed to the Alabama Supreme Court. 